Hey everybody, this is the Eternity Forge Game Development Blog number 5, and today I'm going to be talking about the limitations of RAM. So in a scene like this, I'm going to be using about a gigabyte of RAM, which is quite a bit considering my card's only 2 gigabytes uh, itself. But when you're making a game with sprites, each little sprite, 128 by 128 sprite, might only be 10 kilobytes on your hard drive, but when you pump it in your game, it needs to be turned you know, uh, that many pixels times 32 bits per pixels, and uh, that's like a half a meg of memory that you're using up just for a little tiny uh, PNG file loaded into your video card. So there are ways around this. Um, I can, the best way, I guess, is to use multi-threading to load and unload resources when you don't need them. But with Allegro, when you load a bitmap on a different thread, it's loaded into system memory not video memory so you then have to convert it back into a uh, video bitmap on the main thread which works but for some reason when I go to delete some um, bitmaps that have already been converted it crashes the program and I don't know why uh, that's kind of a sucky thing about using a library is you don't really know what's going on because uh, you didn't write the code yourself so you have to I guess I can Try and go figure out what's going on under the hood, or um, maybe maybe just write my own thing. But even with multi-threading, uh, just to have all the animation cycles in there is probably going to take up too much memory. You know, I'd really like to keep, uh, ideally, a video memory under f 512 megabytes, at least under a gig, so people with older cards can play my game. So next week I'm probably going to have to spend a lot of time optimizing all the memory stuff and all the loading stuff and all the resource stuff so my game's not a memory hog um, cooking up all that bacon. Hopefully I don't have to dip down into OpenGL or something like that because that, that does not sound like a lot of fun to me.